Ever wondered how silky ganaches and fillings are made? The secret lies in the art and science of emulsification. This intriguing process is responsible for creating the creamy textures we love in our favorite foods. It's a common culinary technique, particularly prevalent in creating sauces, dressings, and confectionery delights like ganache. But you might be wondering, what on earth is emulsification? Don't worry, we're about to unravel this culinary mystery. So, what exactly is emulsification? Let's dive in. Uh, emulsification, in simple terms, is the process of mixing two substances that don't usually mix well together. It's like getting cats and dogs to play nice. It involves breaking down particles of one ingredient, think about it as our cat, into super tiny droplets, then dispersing them evenly throughout the other ingredient, let's say, our dog. This process results in a stable, homogeneous mixture, where our cat and dog particles are happily coexisting. And this is where the magic happens in your kitchen. So, how does the science translate into that smooth, creamy ganache you love? Let's break it down. First, heat is your friend. It helps to dissolve solid chocolate into minuscule particles. Next, these tiny particles are dispersed throughout the cream. This is emulsification in action. You're essentially creating a stable mixture of two liquids that would ordinarily not mix well together. Stir it well, let it cool, and voila. And just like that, you've created a perfectly emulsified ganache. So to summarize, emulsification is a crucial culinary technique that allows us to create smooth, creamy textures. It's all about breaking down and evenly dispersing one ingredient throughout another. This process is key in many cooking applications, from your morning coffee to your favorite salad dressing. It's what brings everything together, creating a harmonious blend of flavors and textures. So the next time you enjoy a rich ganache or a creamy dressing, remember the magic of emulsification that made it possible?